Negotiators in Congress have ended talks on a police reform bill, the George Floyd Justice in Policing Act. Passed the House earlier this year. Lawmakers couldn't reach an agreement to get it through the Senate. CBS 4's Kristen Escal has reaction from lawmakers and activists. You know, we had high hopes that there would be some meaningful legislation coming out of um, Washington. Barbara Bowling Williams of the Indiana State Conference NAACP says she's disappointed federal lawmakers have failed to reach a deal on a police reform bill. The George Floyd Justice and Policing Act, passed earlier this year in the House, would have banned chokeholds, ended no knock warrants in federal drug investigations, and created a police misconduct database. Lawmakers couldn't make progress on key sticking points like qualified immunity. A reform is, um, is still needed. You know, everything that's happened so far has been um, step, uh, you know, good steps, first steps forward. Earlier this year, Indiana passed its own police reform law, which bans chokeholds, mandates de-escalation training for officers, and lowers the burden of proof for the state law enforcement training board to decertify an officer for misconduct. Some believe it should be up to the states to decide on these types of laws. We did it here in Indiana with uh, all the police agencies on board with doing common sense stuff. And that uh, should be done at the state level, not the national level. Others feel the federal government should use Indiana's law and bipartisanship as a model for how to get things done. I think we're really trying to address the issues and, and it's being done in a bipartisan way. I, I just think Washington has to do it in a bipartisan way. Still, some hope to see Indiana legislators expand upon that law next session as activists look to state and local governments to pass reform. I know other states and NACP branches are moving that direction, trying to get uh, qualified immunity taken care of at the state level. It will continue to be by city by city, county by county, state by state. In Indianapolis, Kristen Escow, CBS 4 News.